Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 pros and cons. These pros and cons are going to be taken from myself and a couple of from others. So I've watched a couple of people that have played the game, I've also watched what they think and I've also watched gameplay on my own for myself and I've come up with an overall opinion of what I think is good, what I think is bad and then I'm going to be giving it to you guys. But just before this video begins, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing a £10 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you'd like to be a part of that, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, comment something that I can improve on, and comment something that you enjoyed down in the comment section below. Winner announced at 250 subscribers. But like I said, this is going to be my overall opinion on the matter. I've watched gameplay, I've watched reviews, and I've sort of developed my own opinion and my own pros and cons. Now, if you guys have any suggestions on this, or if I could have added anything or taken anything away, let me know down in the comment section below. But also, if you have your own opinion on the matter, drop that in the comment section below. If you have your own personal pros and cons that I maybe have missed, or that you just might have yourself. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any of them. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. So I'm going to be starting off with the good, and then we're going to be moving on into the bad section. And like I said, if you guys want to comment halfway through the video on what you think I could improve on, or what you think you know uh, you, I could have added or taken away, let me know. But the first thing is... 150 health and manual healing now I have no problem with that as a lot of you know I play Fortnite quite a lot you have to manual heal on that it can be a bit annoying but it's not too bad the <clears throat> healing itself for manual healing it doesn't look too bad you know it's, it's over quite quickly uh, death yourself with a med kit or whatever and then you're back to 100% health it only takes a couple of seconds and it's not bad to get used to 150 health I think it's not too bad either once again it it sort of decreases your chance of just getting absolutely two bulleted and your arsehole obliterated. So you know them kills where you're shooting at someone and then they just go fire two bullets up your ass and then you're dead and you just sat there confused why? I think that's that, that, that'll be less of that now. Now that we've got 150 health so it's like less connection based in a way and more sort of gun skill. And more aimed at sort of all the uh, gun skill. And like I said, health doesn't regenerate, so you need a med kit. It is a bit of an adjustment, and you know, it, it can be a bit disappointing because you know, some Call of Duty players have been playing with donkeys, you know, it's just habit that they just let their health regenerate, so they're going to have to get used to that. For me, it's not too bad. Like I said, I play Fortnite. For those that do play Fortnite as well, it, it's going to be an easy adjustment, and it shouldn't be like a hard adjustment for anyone anyway. The specialists are returning. I like that, the specialists were all good, they got the Seraph that is coming back for definite. I haven't seen many of the specialists, or I can't fathom what they are. I think the Sparrow's coming back, except this time with sort of a grappling hook, so you grapple hook it, and then you get pulled, and then you jump. I don't know if that's just for multiplayer or campaign as well, so I'm happy that the specialists are returned. They do add, a, you know, a bit of diversity to the game. You can, you know, just, like, fucking Sparrow someone, or shoot someone with one bullet they do take a level of skill as well like with the annihilate or whatever so i do like the idea of the specialists that are returning i think it is quite nice you know it just adds a bit of diversity bit of change to the game which i do like built in gung-ho so if you don't know what gung-ho is when whenever you're sprinting you are uh, you well your guns up in the air constantly i like that and then when you like reload your gun doesn't go down like in Call of Duty World War 2 for example, whenever you want to reload you have to actually stop moving because, or you can't go for a full on sprint and reload, which I'm not a big fan of because it just sort of makes the game feel a bit slower, like it feels like the time I'm reloading I just have to completely stop and it just slows the momentum down completely, so the good thing is Gung Ho's built in and it's you can just run about and it doesn't kill your momentum or your vibe, which I quite like. The overall weapons are quite balanced and quite good. I don't know if that's because they got 150 health and you know whatever, and it's going to take a similar amount of bullets no matter what, the not what, no matter what the weapon. Sorry, but the guns do look pretty balanced. Obviously, I haven't played them for myself, but overall they don't look like you know, stupidly powerful. Apart from maybe the M8, that does look a bit powerful, but it has been in every uh, Call of Duty or Black Ops series. We're going to be going on to a little bit of the others, the, a, bit, a bit of the things that you might have missed, like, in case this is not the good, this is not the bad, this is sort of the, the in-between. So, each gun gets his own special attachment, so I'm not sure what these special attachments consist of, but I can imagine, for example, say on a submachine gun, 
on that a specific snake scorpion you get an added rapid fire attachment that's just an example obviously they'll be a bit better and you know a bit more sophisticated than just the rapid fire but you would get a rapid fire bar for, for example so each weapon gets its own individual special attachment so maybe on an LMG it might get a fucking 200 magazine extended mag instead of like maybe a 150 for example I do quite like the idea of that because you know instead of every weapon being the exact same it adds a little bit of change which I quite like and obviously every Call of Duty fan is moaning about change and well here we are we're getting it another thing that I quite like bright colours if you look on sort of Infinite Warfare, they're all pretty shit dark colours. Like, like, actually going on Infinite Warfare makes me a bit depressed, if I'm brutally honest. Like, I fire that game up, and I'm a bit depressed. So, that's quite good. Health bar above the enemy, I quite like that. So, you can see, you know, if your friends call out, oh, he's one shot, and he's actually fucking not. You'd be like, mate, you're taking the piss here, he's not actually one shot. So, I think that's quite good. But now, we're moving on to the bad. So, the bad, there is not many, but I have developed a little list for myself, you know, just to balance it out a little bit. So, they've copied streaks, I mean, I'm not too concerned about it, but I mean, they could have, you know, adjusted it a little. They've got the AC-130, the paratroopers and the house door missile. The house door missile, actually, now I think about it, isn't too bad. Uh, it's like an OG, like, OG sort of uh, black ops thing, so... Uh, the house storm's not too bad. The AC-130, a lot of people are going to enjoy that because of the nostalgia from Modern Warfare 2. Paratroopers, I think they could have changed personally and switched that up a bit instead. But, you know, the AC-130 copied completely. Paratroopers copied. House storm OG, so I'm not too... Uh, I should have got rid of that. But house storm OG, but Paratroopers and AC-130, they could have changed the names or they, or they might have changed the names, but it's, you know, essentially the same thing. But, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, a lot of people are going to have it for nostalgia reasons. You can get added health 150 instead of two, uh, like to 200, which is, you know, an extra 50 health, so that can be pretty bollocks. There are a fair few head glitches, which I've seen in gameplay myself. You know, there's not really much you can do about head glitches. I mean, there's always going to be them in every Call of Duty, but there is. There seems to be quite a few in this game, uh, Black Ops 4, I mean. And then Medic get Specialist gets 300 HP, which is a fucking stupid amount. I can regen your whole team. But that has been the video, ladies and gentlemen. I have their pros. I have the cons. Let me know what you guys think, if you think there are any pros or cons. But if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and comment with any feedback down in the comment section below. Hope you all having a great day. But this is Lukey, and I'm signing out.